Hello. We usually get this question from people that uh, I'm a government employee. Can I invest in mutual fund or stock? So the question is always uh, confusion that uh, people also they get confused that uh, uh, government employees we are not eligible for invest. The, the question which when we looked at it, it is really possible for a government employees to invest in stocks and mutual fund. Uh, especially people who are working in any 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 department where there is no involvement of the stock market there is no restriction at all when it comes to the officials who are involved in uh, investment kind of departments they have particular department restrictions that they can't invest in stocks and that is depends on that department alone so in case if you are a government employee just check with your department that uh, you have any restriction uh, especially people who are in non investment related uh, uh, related kind of jobs there is no such restriction at all and what all the things are not allowed any trading which is uh, speculative in nature uh, which means intraday trading then futures and options that is uh, not allowed for government employees that is because these are the uh, activities which more like uh, a business so when a person is sitting in a position and performing a work how during the working time they can involved in such activity that is the only reason could be restriction but in terms of any investment they made with a registered broker on a periodical base uh, keeping an investment its objective it is not a problem at all in case if you have any information from the companies you are investing in and if it's come in any insider information kind of uh, activity that is not allowed that is not allowed not only for government employees not for anyone uh, if you have an information you can't uh, perform as per the information into investment that is not allowed and when it comes to government employees what they have to do when they invest especially there are certain groups in government employees a b c d so when it comes to a they are uh, executive uh, rank officers gazetted officers and uh, b means only gazetted officers c means a senior uh, staff then d means clerical uh, staff so for the first a and b group in case they are investing in a given year more than 50000 rupees they have to report to the department and c and d if they are investing more than 25000 rupees they have to, in a given year they have to intimate uh, to the department and each department has specific format in that format they have to intimate uh, the department that they have done this investment in the same time if uh, your pay slip is uh, whatever the basic is it uh, more than 6 months of basic pay if you are investing then also you have to intimate uh, that this investment is made so overall if you are a government employee there is no such restriction only uh, confirmation you have to do is that as per this department is there any specific restriction it it's made on general terms no one is uh, uh, having any restriction in terms of investing it so happy investing i hope that uh, this will clear lot of doubts about investing especially uh, people who are in uh, government service so in case a person who is watching this video and you are a government employee just uh, comment below that uh, give a confidence that uh, people in this kind of audience is watching and uh, similar kind of topic we can think about in future so we'll come with the another informative video in the next episode till then uh, see you happy investing thank you